So during the class, I usually uh, do a little vote on the physical situation we are interested in uh, to predict what will be the outcome of the, of the calculation. I think that is actually a very, very interesting thing to do. First of all, that uh, will attract the attention of the students that we are going to do a prediction of a physical situation. Okay, so that, that's actually the first purpose to encourage participation of the students uh, into class. And the secondly, I can know if the majority of the students already know the outcome or not by looking at the vote result. So if I have, if I have my um, uh, polarizer arranged in this direction, can you predict what will happen to the readout on the scope? Will I see signal or not? How many of you actually think we will see signal if I arrange that? Uh, the, the, the electromagnetic wave is actually pointing, polarized in, in the up and down direction. OK, one. Okay, on these four people think so. How many of you think nothing will, ha uh, nothing will, will change? Nothing, oh sorry, not, nothing will be observed by the, the scope. Okay, most of you actually think so. So that's actually really do the ex experiment. Uh, I choose to use an analog uh, method instead of clicker and or, or uh, support with other uh, technical tools. And that is because I would like this process to be as smooth as I, 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 I could achieve. Uh, so doing it uh, by raising your hand, first of all, they, they have to do a lot more uh, to, by raising your hand instead of clicking a button. So that actually makes a difference for them to focus on my question. Okay. So secondly, uh, I don't want to uh, do uh, automatic counting because usually they provide a graph and I have to switch back and forth uh, between graph and uh, my lectures or other lecture slides. And that usually takes some time. And also that introduce inter, inter, and interruptions uh, during my lecture.